Okay, this is a very simple tutorial for the 2x2x2 two by two by two cube. And I'm assuming that most of the viewers are going to be beginners. Or even if you solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three and is trying to solve for the first time, it'll be very simple and easy. And the one problem with this particular puzzle is that a lot of people think there's a parity problem with it. And in fact, it's not really a parity problem. It's just difficult to see because you don't have the side pieces on the th as like you do on the 3x3x3. Si three by three by three. So first I'll just mix it up a bit. Okay, so now you can choose any color you want, any side. And I'm just going to choose green just because it's my favorite color. And the first thing you want to do is to take any two green pieces with another color in common. In this case, green, yellow, green, and yellow. And from here, I can, if I bring it up this way, it'll match. So I just want to get these two first. So here's my first set. Now these two are definitely solved relative to each other. And next, I want to find another green piece. This one should be green and red. So find a piece, corner piece that's green and red, like right here. And what I notice is from here, I can't do what I did before and just move it straight up here. I first have to turn it in some way. So if I wanted to move it straight up here, then the green should be right here. So to put the green here, I'm first going to move, turn this over this way, and then move this over this way, and now the green is where it should be. When I move it up, it matches. Okay, now I want the last green piece, which will be this one. It has to be because there's only one more. And looking at this, at this, these three are already solved. So this one, I want to just take it out and put it back in again. So for this one, you just want to make sure that this piece goes, this piece only goes to the lower half. From there, just take it out and move this one back up so it doesn't mess it up. Now from here, I want to put that piece directly underneath where I want to put it from, and I want to make sure that's on one of these two sides, not directly opposite of here. Okay, from there, I'm going to do the same as before. I want the green piece to be over here, and next to this at the same time. So to do that, since the green is on the right side, I'm going to take this side with the green on it. I'm going to rotate that so that where I want to put it, and the piece I want to put in are both on the bottom half. Then I'm going to turn the bottom half until these two match up and then just move it up and you have them solved. And another problem that some people sometimes get looks like this. So this is where I said you should try to not have. You have three pieces solved and the only other green piece is directly opposite of the rest of them. So to do that, you do exactly the same as before. You can do either side now. I'm going to do the right side again to make it simpler. So you just turn that so that the piece you want and where you want to put it are on the bottom half. Now, you don't want to put this right here because that's not matching. The greens don't match. So I want to move it over one more time and then bring this back up. In that case, the green is now on one of these two sides and not directly above the green. So from here, I want to rotate the side with the green again, like that, until the green piece that I want to put in and where I want to put it in are both on the bottom half. Now I'm going to rotate the bottom half until these two match. From here, I'm going to move this back up again, and again I solve the first side. Now I'm just going to flip it over to make it a little easier to see. And the first thing I want to note is the green side is generally opposite of blue. In this case, black is opposite of yellow and purple is opposite of red. So you just want to take that in mind and you notice that the green is on the bottom. So then that means that the blue should probably be on the top. So these two are already on the top and in this case, they're already two matched up. So I'm going to rotate this around until they all match. 
And right now, I've gotten to the problem that most people think is a parity problem, which isn't. Now, from here, any people who can solve the 3x3x3 three by three by three will know that this looks a little awkward because only these two are flipped. We're on 3x3x3, three by three by three, it's usually not. But for the people who can solve a 3x3x3, three by three by three, you can notice that if you move both of these, if you do the same move you use to rotate where the corners go, the cycle, then you can move this one here, this one back here, so these two will still be in the correct place. And this piece will move down here, which should solve it up. And anyone who doesn't understand that, you can just make sure that two, the two solved pieces stay on the right. Both of them are on the right. And from here, you want to know some notations first. So this, the right side, will be right. When I say right, I mean right clockwise. If I say right inverted, that means counterclockwise. Same with up. Up is clockwise. Up inverted is counterclockwise. Bottom. Bottom inverted. Front. Front inverted. Left. Left inverted. Back. Back inverted. So you just want to keep those notes in mind. And that should also be in the in the detail section below. And from here, I'm going to do the algorithm you need to know to put these all in the right order. So first, again, you have to make sure that the two solved pieces are on the right. From here, you're going to do right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted and left. Now none of the pieces may look solved because there's no blue directly opposite of the green but if you put them all in to the right places you can notice that this piece should if you rotate this piece that's where it should go same with this one that's where it should be and that's where it should be. Now the final step to solving the 2 by 2 by 2 is to rotate the corner so that the blues are on the top. So what you want to do is do you want to see if they go clockwise or counterclockwise. To solve this particular piece, since you want the blue on top, you want to turn this clockwise. And for this particular move, you only need the front and bottom. So when you want to turn it clockwise, you're going to start with the front. When you want to turn it counterclockwise, you're going to start with the bottom. This one's going clockwise, so I'm going to start with the front. So I'm going to do front bottom, front inverted, bottom inverted, and same thing one more time. Front, bottom, front inverted, bottom inverted. This may not look solved, but as you go on, it will eventually look solved. So next, you want to put the next piece to be rotated exactly where the other piece was. This one also has to be turned clockwise to get the blue on top. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Front, bottom, front inverted, bottom inverted, front, bottom, front inverted, and bottom inverted. Next, move the next piece over exactly where it was. Now this one goes counterclockwise. So you're going to start with the bottom this time. You can do bottom, front, bottom inverted, front inverted, bottom, front, bottom inverted, and front inverted. Now as you can see all of these look solved and these don't, but after this one it should eventually be completely solved. So you're going to move the last piece over where it should be, and from here I'm going to turn it counterclockwise again for the blue to go on top. So the same thing as just before. Bottom, front, bottom inverted, front inverted, bottom, front, 
bottom inverted, and front inverted. Now just rotate it until everything else looks solved. That's how you solve the 2x2x2. Thank you for watching.